an unlikely natural weapon emerges in the fight against COVID-19. We've made some pretty incredible progress in the fight against COVID-19 with scientists all around the world uniting with one single goal in mind, keeping us alive. They're leaving no stone unturned in their efforts to stop this virus. And shockingly enough, they're even looking at natural supplements as potential weapons in this war. I've already shared the positive press about vitamin D3 and its possible effects on keeping the virus at bay. But now, according to a new study from the Cleveland Clinic, it looks like another supplement superstar might be joining the battle, melatonin. Your body regulates this hormone in response to darkness as it's responsible for regulating your circadian rhythms and sleep-wake cycles, among other roles. But it's also associated with a 30% lower risk of testing positive for COVID-19. Researchers analyzed patient data from Cleveland Clinic's COVID-19 registry with a specific focus on common complications of severe illness, like sepsis and acute respiratory distress syndrome. The goal was to see if any current drugs available on the market today could help in the fight against coronavirus. They did this by cross-referencing key genetic features of the novel coronavirus with other common illnesses that we have more experience treating. Overall, researchers found that the autoimmune, lung, and neurologic diseases were the most similar. Drawing from these similarities, the researcher identified 34 different potential drugs that could help curb complications from COVID-19. And good old melatonin emerged as one of the top contenders, which is pretty incredible. After all, if mainstream researchers are willing to publish a study touting the promise of a simple nutritional supplement like melatonin, then there must be some pretty strong evidence on the table. But of course, because this is a nutritional supplement, we get the usual song and dance. Don't take it without consulting your physician. And we still need large-scale randomized controlled trials. We weren't bombarded with any of that fine print with remdesivir or the Pfizer-Moderna vaccines or many of the COVID tests that were approved via the emergency use authorization. So here's the bottom line. Melatonin is a nutritional supplement that's been used for decades with very few reported side effects. So I certainly won't hesitate to recommend it. I've begun taking three milligrams at night before bedtime myself, the same starting dosage I recommend to everyone. If you're using melatonin to manage sleep problems, you can go higher, slowly increasing the dosage in increments. If need be, just never exceed 20 milligrams. If you'd like to keep up to date on the latest and cutting edge research and new health solutions, hit the su subscriber button below on YouTube to get all of the latest episodes and follow me on Instagram at DrFredNYC. Until next time, I'm Dr. Fred.